Hi everyone, welcome back to another Flickr Facts video. I'm Alistair Jolly, Global Brand Manager here at Flickr. And on this video, it's all going to be about uploading via the desktop. And I'm delighted to be joined by my colleague, Carol, who's our Senior Manager of Community. Hi, Carol, how are you? I'm good, Alistair. How are you today? I am great. So for the next 10 minutes, we are going to knock through how to upload those images via the desktop. So I'm going to switch straight over to your uh, desktop and we can see how it's done. Thank you. Uh, and yes, so this is one of the many ways that you can upload your images to Flickr. Uh, if you have the Flickr iOS or Android apps, you can also upload through there. Uh, or if you are a pro member, you can also use uh, the auto uploader feature. Um, but today we're going to talk through a feature that everyone has access to. Um, and that's right here on Flickr.com. Once you're logged in, you'll see this cloud icon right here at the top right of the page. That's where we're going to get started. Okay. So from this page, it's going to start taking us through the steps of how to upload our images to Flickr. I have some images on my desktop that I'm going to be adding today to this test account. Um, and you'll see here that it says I have unlimited storage. That's because uh, this is a pro account. And that is one of the benefits of having a pro account unlimited storage of your photography. Cool. And if you're on one of our uh, free accounts, then you will have a limit of a thousand photographs. Then you'll see the number of photographs you have left to upload right there under that blue upload button. Exactly right. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking that blue button. I'm going to choose the photos that I want to upload from my computer. And they are conveniently right here for me to select. So after I select those four photos, you'll see them here, ready for me to start editing and uploading to Flickr. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is, you'll see that all of the photos have this pink border around them. That's because right now I'm editing all four photos. Uh, this tool gives you the option to edit all of your photos at once. So you can add a title, description, or add tags to all these photos um, without having to edit each individual one, which is a really powerful tool if you, you know, you're out on a shoot and you're photographing one subject and you don't want to edit each photo individually. Um, but for now, I'm just going to edit one photo. So I'm going to unselect by clicking this all button here. Now you'll see no photos are selected. Um, so to get started, I'll just click the one I want to start with, which is this yellow tree here. This title and description is not really that descriptive. Last time when we met, we spoke about how important it is to add descriptive titles, description, and tags to your photos so that other people can find your photography. Um, so this is the place uh, where you can do that. Last time we were doing that from the photo page, um, but we can do it from uploader as well. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this description here. Um, and again, uh, these are pretty short titles and descriptions, but you should be as descriptive as possible. Uh, we're just talking you through this so you see how it actually works. Um, and on the left here, you'll see some other things that I have the option to edit. Um, so last time we also spoke about tags, which are descriptive terms uh, to describe your photography, again, to help people find your photos when they're searching on Flickr. Um, so I'm going to add some tags to all of these photos. So once again, I'm going to select all at the top here, and you'll see that all photos are selected. And I'm going to click add tags. And I'm going to add a few descriptive terms, so fall, autumn, each of these will be separated uh, with a comma. And for my multi-word tags, I'm going to put those between quotation marks. And when I hit Enter, you'll see here that all of those tags have been added to all of these photos. Again, this is just a, like, a way quicker way to add tags to multiple photos rather than uh, editing each individual one. Yeah, and it's a great way to really help with the discoverability of those images within groups or your own photo stream to have as many tags as you feel appropriate. Being, being able to do them on multiple images at one time is a really neat feature. Exactly. Um, and now, so there are some other options that I have here. Um, so I'm going to stop editing all of these photos and just select this one. So if I wanted to add people to this photo, there's a hand here. So if I wanted to add the person who is photographed there, if they're a Flickr friend of mine, I could do that here. 
or if I wanted to add this photo to an album, I could do that here as well. Last time when we met, we also discussed groups. Um, so one thing that we can do directly from this page is add this photo to any group that I'm a member of. So this photo was from my fall harvest. So I'm going to add this to the fall foliage group that I'm a member of. And hopefully the other members of that group will appreciate this photo since we all share that interest. So I'll click and done. And if there's a if there's a group that you think an image should be part of, but you're not a member of that group yet, then it won't show up here in this list. You have to join that group prior to it being on this list uh, when you're uploading. Um, so later on, if I were to join more foliage groups, or if I was to join uh, groups about the sky uh, or trees, I can always go back and add these photos to those groups later on as well. Um, so just to continue talking through the settings available here, down here, you'll see this section called Owner Settings. And here, you'll see that you have the option to select um, the license type for your photography. So if I click Edit next to All Rights Reserved, you'll see that this opens a window where I can see all of the different license types that I can select. Um, so I'm going to keep it as All Rights Reserved, but in the description of this video, we'll include some documentation about what all of these different rights types mean. So you can make sure you're selecting the right one for this work. And this will also be visible on your photo page. So others that come see your work know exactly how you want it to be used or shared. And now the next setting here um, is, who is this photo visible to? So if I click edit here, you'll see that I have flexibility to say, um, I want this photo to be visible to everyone. So anyone who comes to my Flickr profile can see this. Or I can say, I only want it to be visible to friends, family, or just myself. Maybe I'm just uploading this. I'm not totally happy with how the photo came out. I still want to work on editing it or something like that. I can select only you. I'm going to select that just for this photo so we can test out how that works. Um, now, I just clicked the blue arrow next to owner settings so that we can see this content filters section here all the way at the bottom left. So here you'll see it says safety level safe. Generally speaking, any photo that is um, for public general audience can be marked as safe. We'll also have um, a article in the description of this video that explains what the other safety level means. And here you'll see content type, photo. If you click edit here, you'll see the op other options are screenshot or art or, art or illustration. Uh, both of which are also acceptable. Uh, we're going to keep that as photo because this is a photo. And so now I think these photos are all in a good place. So I'm going to go ahead and upload them to Flickr. And to do that, I'll just go up here to the top right where it says upload four photos and click that. Um, and now before we move forward, we're just going to ask you to confirm what you're adding to Flickr. So we're adding three public photos, the one that we marked as private. All of them have tags and we added one to a group as well all sounds good and sounds like what we uh, set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload. All right. So now I'm on my photo stream. Um, and Alistair, you're probably noticing that. Yeah, you uploaded four images, but there's only three showing there. Exactly. Um, that's because this is the public view of my photo stream. Right. So right now we're selecting the photos that I want other people to see. But if I go over here and click view all, uh, that private one shows up here. Um, so again, your photo stream is what other folks see when they come to your Flickr profile. Um, the public view is all the photos that you've marked as public um, that you want to share with others. But you can also change this to see photos that you've marked for friends or family to view, um, or the photos that you know, you've just uploaded for yourself to keep a record of. <laughs> Cool. That's the basics of how you upload to Flickr. Wonderful. I uh, hope that has given you some insight into uploading on the desktop, and we'll see you back here on the next Flickr Facts video. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Alistair.